So if you find it online and you read it, you'll learn that I'm a professor in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences here at Rutgers Newark. I have a PhD in the geosciences. My work takes me all over the United States and the world. I do research, I write articles, and most importantly, I teach, advise, and mentor students. But what my resume says about me isn't the whole picture. I started off just like you are today, a new student at a new college. I was excited for what college meant for my future, for what I could make myself into with this chance, with this opportunity. But I was also very afraid. I wasn't just a new student at a new college. I was a foreigner, as you can tell by my accent. I was in a new country. I was here on my own in this new country. I was the first person in my family to go to college. I was one of a handful of people of color on campus. I was the only minority in my intended major. I felt so obviously and sometimes painfully different in so many ways. On top of that, as a new college student, I really didn't have a clue about what I was doing and how I was supposed to do it. But somehow I did it. I got where I am today. And I have to be really honest with you, it took some effort, a lot of striving. <laughs> But, you know, in, in some cases, it took a, re a whole lot of effort, much more than I'd like to admit. So as a college student, I, of course, had my classes, homework, studying. But I also didn't have a whole lot of money. So I worked two to three very unglamorous campus jobs. So one of them was scraping dishes at the back of the college cafeteria. I was also adjusting to American culture campus culture, college culture. And as we all need to do, I was dealing with life in general, trying to keep up with friends and family back home, trying to make new friends, trying to have a social life, trying to do something other than work and school. During all of this, I tried to keep focused on my education as much as possible. But of course, that didn't always work out. The most important thing was that when things didn't go as planned, for example, when I got that C minus, it might have been a D in calculus. <laughs> yes, I took some time to feel sorry for myself. Then I got right back up and started again, always keeping my goals in sight, keeping my eyes open on that prize, according to Chancellor Cantor. As you could probably tell, for most of college, I was completely out of my comfort zone, always a little bit scared, but I did it anyway. And in the end, things worked out. I like to think exactly as it should. But that was my experience of college, not yours. My story may or may not resonate with you in some way, but it isn't your story. You are here today starting or continuing your own college journey. And you couldn't find a better place than Rutgers University Newark to complete that journey. I'll tell you why. Most of us are different and very unique in some way. Rutgers Newark embraces and celebrates our differences. It is what makes my school, now your school, rich, diverse, and welcoming. Compared to other colleges and universities, and this is just my personal opinion, but I think it's true, it is what makes us at RUN special. Whatever your identity, whatever that thing is that makes you different and unique, it is welcome here. Because our collective differences are opportunities for collaboration and for excellence. And one of your biggest opportunities for collaboration and excellence is through your professors. At Rutgers Newark, we are here for you. As a professor, I don't want you, my students, to be like me. I want you to be better in every single way. I want you to be, to your, to be yourselves, your very best selves. Not just in my courses, but in your careers and in life. Because after all, 
I am here, we are here to support you on your journey. So I told you a little bit about my college self for a reason. I want to remind you and I want you to remember that many of us professors started out just as you did. You might have more in common with your professors than you think. You might be different and unique in the exact same ways. So don't be afraid to reach out, to collaborate with your professors, to make the most of your education. We all want to see you succeed, not just getting good grades, but in the many ways that success looks like to each of us as individuals. So with that being said, I want for you to have a wonderful semester, an even better college experience here at Rutgers Newark, and we will see you in class. Best of luck. Woo!